Kurt, just how successful was TMG? Uh, well, we got, what, uh, nine, nine golds, a couple of platinums. We only ever had, as TMG, we had one number one, and that was Jump In My Car. That lasted quite a long time, though, at number one. Mm -hmm, jump in my car. I want to take you home. Ted Mulry and his gang were up there with the big boys of Australian rock and roll in the 70s. TMG continued to perform up until 1986, but as the hit slowed down and their teen audience grew up, it was time to call it a day. We'd sort of flogged the, the dead horse long enough, really, doing the same stuff night after night. So I went off to LA for a while, lived there for about six months, and then came back and started a partnership with Les from the band, the guitarist. Uh, and we, uh, we were writing, are oh, still writing ads, producing commercials for TV. What do you miss most about that lifestyle that you had? What I really miss is every day before, like we'd arrive in a town and then we'd put our luggage down, grab our tennis rackets and go out to a court. And every afternoon we'd play about two hours of tennis, the four of us. And it was great. I mean, that's the part that I think we all miss. That was the, the real fun part. And then we'd get back and we'd have dinner and then we'd go on stage. Uh, I mean, that was fun getting on stage. But the, the part that was different was the tennis. It was really good, and that's, that's what I do miss. But as far as uh, missing getting up in front of people, that sort of thing, I, I don't feel that. A lot of musicians do, usually, when they stop after so long, because we were together 14 years. Um, I don't miss that side of it at all. Do you find that people still recognize you in the street? My mother said that, you know, about a week ago. Recognized me in the street and said, I've got an album of yours. <laughs> <laughs> really? Now and again, people do, yeah. Uh, it's quite nice, because it's, it's not as up front heavy like it was before where you'd get sort of mobbed or something now it's really nice people come up and, and actually talk nicely to you you know it's sort of uh, hi how are you um what are you doing it's nice get out of my car and there's now a touch of his first hit so, jump in my car but as he's a partner in a mechanic really workshop in sydney how did you get involved with something like that well brian my partner in that business uh had been out of it for about two years as well <clears throat> And he used to have a mechanical business in Brookvale, and uh, he had it for about 15 years, and he'd been my mechanic for 15 years. And he wanted to go back into it, open a new workshop, and he needed a partner. Uh, although I don't know much, I can change spark plugs, that sort of thing. I could actually do a service if I had to, but he needed a partner to go in with him and sort of you know, run the paperwork side of it while he did the mechanicing. you fall from your eye I didn't mean to make you cry With screaming teenagers a thing of the past Ted still has the music in him I've had a few people ask um, are you going to record again uh, and in fact only a couple of weeks ago I was asked if I'd like to do an album um, by Albert and I'm still mulling that one over I don't know whether I want to actually go back out and do that again how would you feel if uh, you released a single tomorrow morning and it went to number one? If it did come out and was number one, gee, I'd be totally wrapped. Maybe at that point I might consider doing a tour or something because then it'd probably be worth it. But up until that stage, I don't really want to get out and do all that road work again, really. But uh, you never know. Never can tell. There's some day we have to choose Or we may stand Stop loving you I swear every word I say is true I'll never stop loving you Never stop Ted Murray, now you know where he is from jumping my car to can I fix your car? Also, I like the clothes he used to wear back in the 70s.